Click here to see the first part if you haven't. Now we'll begin making the wire harness for the optical boards. For this we'll be using the 3D printed LED holder included in the wire harness kit. Grab your LEDs and photo transistors and snip them at the indentation on the metal end for all of them. After you've done that, we'll be using our wires now. Starting with the base wires, strip about a millimeter off one of the ends of the wires in the set. Put the wires into the holder. Your wires should look something like this. After all the wires are in place, apply solder to conjoin the connections. You don't need to use much solder as it will make the later steps easier. Start by grabbing your 1 16th heat shrink and cut them up into 8 individual pieces. Have the heat shrink slightly longer than your solder joint. Put one piece of the heat shrink on each wire and slide them over the connections. Using a lighter or small heat source, heat the material until it is firmly wrapped around the connection. Do the same for all connections. Next we'll be working with the optical boards. In this case we'll be using the base set. First grab your optical board and gently rip one of the excess pieces off the board. Gather your LEDs and photo transistors for the base set, then strip about a millimeter off the insulation. Do the same for all the wires. This will be a layout of where the wires will be soldered onto the optical board. Grab your first pair of wires and slip the wires through the correct hole through the front of the Grab your first pair of wires and slip the wires through the correct hole. Grab your first pair of wires and slip the wires through the correct hole through the front side of the board. Hold the wires outward on the board to allow for a clean solder. Do the same for all photo transistors and LEDs.